in this video I will show you how to install a talent open studio. Uh, let's head over to my desktop and take this small uh, version of those steps with me. We will first of all check our Java version, uh, download and install Java if necessary, then download in the archive for uh, talent itself extract the archive and start in the executable uh, which is for our operating system and once talent is started we will download in the libraries and that talent can include directly in the distribution and then in the last step we're going to create a small really simple job to confirm everything is okay so first of all let's bring up a terminal uh, increase the size a little bit i type java space and dash uh, version uh, to check the version of java installed on my local computer it's open jdk and version 11 so i'm fine and i can exit here uh, if you get a message that java is not installed then you can follow this link i will put it in the description as well okay you can install open jdk uh, Sulu distribution or Oracle uh, JDK 11. Uh, in case of Oracle JDK 11, you search it in the internet and download it for your operating system and install it. And in case of Sulu, you don't have to search it, you just follow this link, but you also download it and install it on your computer. Once and this is done, you can go to the next step. We are going to download the zip archive. Uh, you can download that from Talent as well, but here you don't have to provide your data and not receive an email and then recently start the download. Here you can download it as well uh, directly if, uh, without providing any data from you personally. Uh, if you want to download the zip archive, go to files here at the bottom the folder talent open studio for big data and here as of the recording of this video the latest version which is not a milestone version with the m at the end and some number is 801 okay so if you're watching this video at a later point in time it may be a newer version 802 or 9 or something like this Okay, but here 801, I will click on and here I get in the possibility to download the .zip archive. Okay, I did that already on my machine, as you can see here on the right hand side in my file browser. And I already extracted the archive here. So this is the folder that resulted from extracting the archive and here we have uh, on the first level in this folder uh, already executable for Windows and then executable for Linux. And here on the first level we also have an executable for Mac which you see highlighted in the current picture. And then depending obviously on your operating system, you either start uh, this one for Mac or this one for Windows or this one for Linux. I'm on a Linux box, so I will uh, choose and this one. And the first thing now that we have to do when talent starts the first time is accept the license agreement. And now we can do several things before we actually open Talent Open Studio. Okay, first let me uncheck this box here because I don't want to see this window again at the next startup. Then we go to Manage Connections. And here I will provide my email address that would be stored in the a metadata for any object that I create in a talent. Uh, this is really helpful to do it here because later on when you're working in talent itself in a project you can't do that anymore without coming back here to this. Okay, now I chose a workspace folder where my project is stored and that is uh, as you can see here next to my uh, studio folder okay if you choose another folder here uh, just choose it by clicking on this select workspace button and uh, confirming what folder you want to use once you chose your the folder of your choice or you leave the default you click ok and if you've chosen a different workspace folder instead of finish here you will have a little restart button now so just restart and you 
you will get back to this window a few seconds later. And now the third thing that we're doing here, we will create a empty project. Let me call that Talent Basics. And now we confirm with finished. And this means Talent Open Studio will load all the necessary components and create the project for us inside the workspace folder. Now, when Talent Open Studio is started, they will also open another new tab in my browser with some resources. I don't want that, so I close it. And also I close this welcome wizard here. Okay, now we are in a Talent Open Studio. On the bottom right side, you can already see it's checking for extra features installed. This is this uh, window here where we leave the things the way it is and just click on finish to now select I accept and here click accept all. So this means in this way, Talent is installing all the libraries that they can provide out of the box uh, for licensing reasons. Very good. Now Talent is going ahead and almost finished with installation of these libraries. And in the meantime, here on the left hand side in my repository, I right click on job designs and select create a job. And I will just call that a demo. And this a demo job I only use to confirm a Talent Open Studio is working. And here in the middle, I now get my so-called designer. I will add just one simple comma component by clicking somewhere in this uh, checkboard like area and writing MSG for the MSG box. So when I have this component here, I either double click or press return to insert that in my job. If you now go to the components tab, you can see that it will uh, show this text in a small message box and that's all fine. And so now I just go to the run tab and click on run and the job will launch for the first time, depending on the computing power of your machine. It can be uh, taking a few seconds and then here you will see a window like this and when you click OK, the job will finish. All right, and that's all we had to do to get Talent Open Studio running on either Windows, Mac OS or Linux. And now it's your turn.